Immunoassay from Creative Diagnostics Introduction Immunoassay is a biochemical method that identifies and quantifies unknown analytes such as protein, lipid, and nucleic acid, in solutions such as serum, and urine, using antibody antigen reactions. There are many different formats and variations of an immunoassay, but the key point is still specific antibody antigen recognition. An antigen is a molecule that is recognized by the immune system, particularly by antibodies. Proteins, polysaccharides, pesticides, antibiotics, toxins, and hormones all can be antigens. But, not all antigens can stimulate the immune system to generate antibodies. An antigen that can elicit an immune response, and particularly antibody synthesis is called an immunogen. Proteins with molecular weights higher than 5 to 10 kilodalton are immunogens, while, small peptides, pesticides, antibiotics, or hormones are not. These low molecular weight substances are called, haptins, and must be chemically coupled to larger carrier molecules, such as, bovine serum albumin, or keyhole limpid hemocyanin, in order to elicit specific antibody formation. An antibody is a 160 kilodalton Y-shaped large protein, bearing two combining sites, peritopes, that bind to a limited surface, epitope, of the antigen specifically. Epitopes are mostly located on the hydrophilic part of the antigen. An antibody consists of two heavy and two light chains, linked by disulfide bonds. The Fab fragments of H and L chains, are highly variable, and the FC fragments are conservative. The antibody antigen reaction is a typical reversible bimolecular reaction, having rate constants for the forward and backward reactions that are dependent on the concentration of the antigen and antibody. Affinity for the antigen is defined by the association constant of the antibody for its antigen, temperature, pH, and other environmental conditions. Immunoassays are based on the binding and complex of an antigen to an antibody, and people use some physical or chemical means to measure and quantify the antigen-antibody complex. Classification Generally, there are three kinds of immunoassays. Two types of precipitation reactions can be used to determine relative concentrations of antibodies, or antigens in immunoprecipitation, that is radial immunodiffusion, and double immunodiffusion. Immunoassays employ a variety of different labels to allow detection of antibodies and antigens. Labels are typically chemical linked, or conjugated to the desired antibody or antigen. According to the difference of label, and signal detection strategy, immunoassay can be classified as the following types, radioimmunoassay, enzyme immunoassay, fluoroimmunoassay, chemiluminescence immunoassay, and colloidal gold immunochromatographic assay. Another kind of labeled immunoassay is immunohistochemistry. While some kind of label is generally employed in immunoassays, there are certain kinds of assays which do not rely on labels, that is surface plasma resonance, and quartz crystal microbalance. Immunoprecipitation The precipitation reaction, is a highly specific serological reaction, involving the binding of antigen by antibody. The amount of precipitation is affected by the concentration of antibody, and antigen. The precipitation reaction is inhibited, when either antigen, or antibody is present in great excess. The range of optimal concentrations, at which the greatest amount of precipitation is generated, is called the equivalent zone. Radial immunodiffusion In radial immunodiffusion, an antigen sample is placed in a well, and allowed to diffuse into agar, containing a suitable dilution of an antiserum. As the antigen diffuses into the agar, the region of equivalence is established, and a ring of precipitation, as well as a precipitin ring form around the well. The area of the precipitin ring, is proportional to the concentration of antigen. By comparing the area of the precipitin ring, with a standard curve, obtained by measuring the precipitin areas, of known concentrations of the antigen, the concentration of the antigen sample, can be determined. Double immunodiffusion In double immunodiffusion, both antigen, and antibody diffuse radially, from wells toward each other, thereby, establishing a concentration gradient. As equivalence is reached, a visible line of precipitation forms. 
radio immunoassay. RIA is an immunoassay that uses radioactive isotopes, for example I-235, to label the antibody slash antigen. It detects the radioactivity to measure the antibody antigen compound with very high sensitivity. Enzyme immunoassay. EIA is possibly one of the most popular used immunoassays. Instead of radioactive isotopes, EIA use enzymes, for example HRP, AP, as probes. These enzymes allow detection often because they produce an observable color change in the presence of certain reagents of substrate and chromogen, for example DAB, TMB, based on the enzymatic reactions. Fluoroimmunoassay. FIA is analogous to RIA, except that the label is a fluorophore, for example FITC, and phycoerythrin, rather than a radioisotope. Fluorescence signal can be measured directly by detecting instrument. Chemiluminescence aminoassay. CLIA is a method to determine the concentration of samples according to the intensity of the luminescence that the chemical reaction emits. CLIA combines the CL systems and the amino reactions. Some reagents have been used as CL labels. Upon the introduction of the CL substrates, the system produces chemiluminescence. Colloidal gold immunochromatographic assay. ICA also known as lateral flow immunoassay, is a rapid test immunoassay to detect the presence or absence of a target analyte in sample or matrix without the need for specialized and costly equipment. Immunohistochemistry Immunohistochemistry combines histological, immunological, and biochemical techniques for the identification of specific tissue components by means of a specific antigen slash antibody reaction tagged with a visible label. Immunohistochemistry makes it possible to visualize the distribution and localization of specific cellular components within a cell or tissue. Surface plasma resonance. Surface plasma resonance is the resonant oscillation of conduction electrons at the interface between a negative and positive permittivity material stimulated by incident light. It is essentially the mass of analyte bound to the substrate film of the sensor chip that changes the index of refraction that can be measured in various ways. No labeled reporter molecule is needed. Quartz crystal microbalance. Quartz crystal microbalance based on the converse piezoelectric effect. The mass deposition on the electrode surface is proportional to the resonance frequency of the substrate crystal. If we immobilize capture antibody on the electrode surface of QCM chip and flow the analyte, the binding process of antibody and analyte could be measured by the detection of frequency change without any label of antibody or antigen. Thanks for your view. For more information, please contact info at creative-diagnostics.com.